Hello and welcome to ArchitEasy. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can create this cabinet with the different trim options uh, like it's done on this example. This is actually designed by the Kitchen by Paul, that's the Swedish brand. They also have their uh, architectural studio and I have to know that I'm not sponsoring them. Uh, I like this example, like their work, really appreciate it. Therefore, I found this example as a very good one and I hope that it's going to be very useful for you. If you're a beginner, just don't be afraid. This tutorial is going to be very suitable for you. And for all of you, I think that uh, creating a, and having a cabinet like this one in the library is going to be a very good and useful thing. Uh, for this tutorial, I will be using Revit 2024, but you can use any of the Revit you have installed on your computer. For this tutorial, I will be using a family template and I'm not going to use this imperial one. Instead, I'm going to use a metric one and I will start with the metric casework. So the first thing what I'm going to do will be this, let's say, back part of the cabinet and it's going to be then quite simple. I will just take extrusion. Be aware that uh, because I'm going to use a picking uh, lines, uh, once you click on a line, just lock it actually, once you click on a reference line. And then for this one, I'm going to use offset of 20. And I'm going to trim this. Also, in this view, I'm going to go to the visibility graphic and under notation categories, just turn on this automatic sketch dimensions. Then I will select on this 20 millimeters and I'm going to lock it, which means that our distance of the back of the cabinet is always going to be 20 millimeters from this reference plane. Then go to the front view and I'm going to select this one and simply I'm going to just lock it to the top reference plane. Uh, let me just go to 3D and then I will just play with the parameters. So let's make a depth of 900 a height of 1.2 meters and then width of 600 and see how it works. I think that everything seems fine here. And uh, yes, I will go to the reference plane and and what I'm going to create right now is uh, this this panel here. I will be using uh, for this one extrusion as well. So I will just take uh, extrusion and then I'm going to click here. I'm going to lock it. The same for this reference plane. And then here. Actually, by the way, I made one mistake. Uh, if, if we take a closer look, we have some kind of uh, of distance between the panels, so it means that if we make it to be on a zero with the refer reference plane in our model, those uh, splitting lines, actually those uh, empty spaces are not going to be visible. Uh, therefore, uh, let's just do this. I'm going to delete this one and this one as well. Pick line and take one millimeter offset and take it to the inside. Now use the trim tool. And don't forget to click on this temporary dimensions and to lock it. Again, go to the front view. Uh, what I can do for the start, because uh, we have some kind of the distance here. I will, I made this as a 10 millimeters. So you see that the start is 10 millimeters. While for the top, I will make two millimeters and I'm going to create a new reference plane. And then I will just dimension this. I will make it as a as a two millimeters and then I'm going to lock it. So it means that it's always two millimeters from the top or actually, sorry, it's better to be uh, one millimeter. And just lock it. Then select this one and then zoom in and drag it to this new reference plane we made. Lock this one and let's just see how it's going to work. Is everything fine? I suggest you whenever you're creating families just to have those small uh, small steps and checks so you're sure that everything is fine, especially if you're a beginner. Uh, 
Yes, this seems fine. Okay. And what I'm going to show you right now is how you can create those streams. So let's say that you have this one here. It's, let's say, the right one. Then we have this, the left one. And then we also have here top and probably the bottom. And uh, what you will see is how you can create them inside one family so you don't need to create a different types. Of course, if you would like to, you can do it uh, uh, that way as well. But in this one, I'm going to show you how you can keep everything in one family. So I will go to the front and then I will take a sweep tool, sketchpad and just be aware, okay, check it, it's going to the front. If you are not sure about the reference plane, my suggestion is to go out from the, from the tool and then just uh, go to the reference plane and then just go to the plan view, select and check the reference plane, their names. Uh, and that's that's why it's quite important uh, for you to name them whenever you create a new one. So this one is called front. Let's go to the front. Again, take a sweep and sketch path. I will take a pick lines and I will make the distance of, let's say, 100 millimeters. In this case, I'm going to have a distance from the, from the cabinet sides. Actually, sorry, from the door size, not the cabinet size. Uh, when you place it, just take dimensions, so I will take it from here to here. And then I am going to select this dimension. I will go here to create parameter. And I will just name this as uh, distance stream, right? Take the same and do the same thing here. Just trim this and select those two dimensions and just give them this uh, value. Actually, this parameter. Click fine and I will go. I don't want to create this from the uh, from any uh, elevation views. So if this happened to you, you can just select this one and drag it. Actually, you need to go under the editable thing for, for a path and just drag this here. So again, go click fine. And from the plan view, I'm going to create a profile. If you have your own profiles or you downloaded some from the internet and you would like to create them, you can as well create the 2D families. In this case, I'm going to recreate one by sketch here. I will just try to imitate uh, how this uh, one on a, on a picture look like. I will just delete those two lines, so something like this. Okay, so this looks okay. And now let me just go here and I will try to make this a distance of 200. So let's see how it works. This seems okay. Uh, again, I'm going to the front view. And uh, right now I'm going to make the left one, so I'm going to use the same technique, the same principle, but just on the, on the opposite side. So take a sweep tool again. Be aware where it's, where it's ending, so it's okay. What I can actually do here is I can just take it 
and I don't need to draw it, I can just select those lines. Oops. I can just turn this, sorry, off those automatic sketch dimensions. I don't need them anymore. And let's just trim this. What I think that uh, I should probably mirror this one. And then I will take a move tool and we'll just move it to here. Yes, this is okay, but what I forgot is to give the parameter to our sweep line. So uh, if this happened to you, just no worry, you don't need to delete this. You can just go to edit sweep, select this line and then sketch path. So now take a distance and make uh, dimensions as we did for the previous one. And then just select one of those and create a new parameter. So this one is going to be named let me see how i named this one so this one was distance streams right and this one is going to be called left make it as the instance so actually sorry those those they don't need to be instance uh, if you would like to change it, you can anytime go here, select it and just make a type uh, again. So I was quite quick probably. Uh, select this, go to this small pen and then instead of instance, take type. So what it's going to be right now, let's see this left one to make it 200. Mm -hmm. Okay. The reason is quite simple. Again, I just added it to one of the sides. Just select those two and give this one. So, if now I make everything to be 150, you see how it follows. Now is the time to create top and the bottom and they are even simpler to be done. So, again, I'm going to use a sweep tool, but in this case, I'm just going to show you, let's say, the top one. Uh, and for the bottom one, you can just do it yourself. So let me just go to the front and then I will again take sweep. In this case, I'm just going to take a line. So it's quite important to go uh, from the end to the end of the door. You don't need to, be, to care about uh, the placement where you place it. You can just take this dimension and then again create a parameter. Now it's time to create a profile and I will just take this one. Clean it with the trims and then take it, actually select it, use a move tool and then move it here. So here it comes. Well, let's just see how this one works. If I make it to 50, see that it works. And let me save the family. I'm going to name this uh, like this. And I'm going to open a project. Actually, I'm going to create a new one. Uh, you can take this uh, multidiscipline metric template. And let me just go back to the family, then just go load to the project and I'm going to place it here. I will turn off just uh, the project notation categories. So we see this better. And if we select this family and go to the, to the uh, edit type, you will see that we can then adjust uh, our trims. So 
this will work well. Let's make this on 100. But what we have now is materials, so that's one thing. And then the second thing, we cannot, actually we have no option right now to turn on or off the trims we would like to have. So let's just go back to the family. And the first thing uh, which I'm going to do will be to create materials. So I'm going to select uh, the box in the back. We'll go to this small box here and we'll just create uh, something which is called, let's say, I will keep those parameters as a type parameters, then I will select the door. And I'm going to select all three trims and we'll make a parameter for that as well. Bring it back and then take this over it. Uh, the existing version and its parameter values so now if i select this you see that we have a different uh, material category so if i take a box and i will just uh, take some i don't know vivid colors so we make a we can see them better uh, i can take let's say this one here and then for the trims let's take this one So here it comes and yeah, the last thing which I'm going to show you is how you can make them uh, with a click uh, visible or invisible. So firstly, I'm going to create this right trim and then under graphics and visible on this small box here, I will add a parameter. So it will be, let's say, this. trim right I'm going to make this as the instance parameter and then for the group I will place it under visibility uh, let's do the same for this one again instance and place them under visibility and then select the top Save the family and load it back into the project. So in a project, we have no materials right now. That doesn't matter. I can just bring them back. While it's not the most important. So now when I select our cabinet, you see here on the properties panel that we have those three options uh, so for the visibility those they are instance parameters which means that we can let's say turn them on or off and i'm actually going to make this trim left so let's just copy this family something like this maybe and now let's say that for this one i'm going just to keep the top while for this one I would like to keep the right and also what I would like to do is to have the same distance to all of the trims so I will make it 150 150 150 and you see how it looks like we are missing just the bottom one you can make it the same way as I did the top one and basically that was it for this tutorial uh, just let me know in the comments what you think about this tutorial and of course if you have any questions just write them there thank you very much for watching and supporting us